There has been a second night of rioting in France after two teenagers were killed in an accident involving a police car on Sunday. Now, police say about 80 officers were hurt in the violence. Five are thought to be in a critical condition. It all happened in the villiers le bel suburb of Paris. The French Prime Minister and Interior Minister have both been to the scene. And all the time, an investigation is continuing into the crash in which the two youngsters actually died. The crash which is thought to have sparked all this writing. Let's go to Tim Friend. He is live there for us now. Tim, night clearly fallen behind you. What's it like there right now? The atmosphere is extremely tense because, as you say, there's already been two nights of serious rioting. You can probably see behind me here the build-up of the riot police. They've called in extra reinforcements on top of the police who were already here in big numbers. And I have to be truthful and say that no one I've spoken to here today really expects tonight to be peaceful. Another day cleaning up after the night before. More than 70 policemen injured, three critical. The rioting is growing in intensity. And it's also spreading to neighboring suburbs, something that the police had feared because this was the pattern of violence in 2005. In an attempt to defuse the crisis, the Prime Minister promised that justice would prevail. I want to say that in a democracy there is no such thing as vengeance, but there is justice. The justice is independent and should tell all the truth. We owe this truth to the families of Mushan and Larami, to their parents, to the people of villiers la -Belle. We will know the truth. It is the job of the justice. As well as scores of vehicles, the rioters have now attacked libraries and two schools part of the community's own infrastructure. Parents here are angry and exasperated. I saw the disaster as I was bringing my daughter to school. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. The window of my house is just over there. I saw what was happening and I couldn't believe it. What, attacking a school? The library, there were lots of books so it burns easily. The fire was unbelievable. The children at the rec schools are now being taught in emergency classrooms because despite appeals from the families of the dead teenagers, the rioters carried out more violence. There's a simmering hatred of the police here. To try to discover what drives it is difficult. Local youths are reluctant to speak on camera. They're resentful and angry about how they're portrayed. As rioting continued into the early hours of the morning, the families of the dead teenagers called for a full inquiry headed by a judge. Their lawyer said that it was the only way to calm the situation. Well, many people today have been trying to find a way out of this dreadful violence. And I'm joined now by CM Habchi, who leads a women's group, a feminist group, that has its roots in the troubled suburbs around Paris. Some of the mayors were saying today, the local mayors were saying that they simply haven't had enough money from central government to do everything they want to do here. Would you agree with that? Not only. Of course we need money, but we need organization. We need that people just think that they are citizens of this country. They just ask that. If they, these two guys die, why we don't have the truth? Just that. Say the truth. Say that they are citizens of this country and people just go back home. Why do you think this disconnection has occurred? Why do people feel not part of France? Many of these people are from Arab or North African origin uh, who are rioting. Why do they feel so alienated? Because since 30 years, nobody thinks to create links between the ghetto that where people live and the center. You would describe and this as a ghetto? Of course, we described it since a long time. Women are in the ghetto trying to create link, trying to say to the people, don't use violence, use the right to fight against discrimination. Many of the people involved are young men. Um, I realize you represent women, but uh, very briefly, why do you think it's young men who are rioting? because they occupy the public sphere since a long time. When we created our organization in 2003, we said 
women have to occupy the public sphere, give the women the power to, to talk, to speak to people, okay. to, to fight against violence.